Hello everyone, welcome back to Galactic Boy. So in the book of Boba Fett episode 5, The Return of the Mandalorian, we saw an M1 Starfighter. Now, I, now uh, in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys uh, 10 facts about the M1 Starfighter that you guys probably didn't know. Now that out of the way, let's get started. Number 1. The length of the N1 is, uh, is 11 meters or roughly around three, 36 feet long. Number 2. A normal M1's maximum acceleration is 3,750. The reason I said a normal N1 is because, as we saw in the Book of Boba Fett, Din's N1 has a different hyperdrive, making it faster than a normal N1. Also in the comics and novels, there are M1s which are much faster, though the typical M1 which the Royal Guard of Naboo used had an acceleration of 3,750. Number 3. Normal N1s typically use J-type Nubian 221 engines. However, again, there are people like Din Djarin who have customised their N1s with different engines. However, that is the normal engine used for the ship. Number 4. The, typ the typical hyperdrive the M1 uses is a Nubian Monarch C4, a Class 1.0 hyperdrive made by Nubia Star Drives Incorporated. They were known throughout the galaxy for making su sublight drives. The these were engines used by ships to travel through space at normal speeds. These were different to the hyperdrive because hyperdrives are used to travel at incredibly fast speeds. Faster than the speed of flight, actually. Hyperdrives allow the ship to get from one side of the universe to another in a matter of seconds. But if you use a sublight drive, it would take you years or even decades to make it. They made sub... the. They made sublight engines for multiple ships, including the J-Type 327 Nubian Royal Starship, which you saw in The Phantom Menace. Number 5. The M1s were all equipped with shielding. They protect them from the vacuum of space and also from most laser fire, at least for a little while. So if you're being shot at, the shields will protect you for a small amount of time. This should hopefully give you enough time to escape. Number 6. The people of Naboo, the people who designed the M1, were very peaceful and also very eco-friendly. As a result, the twin J-type Nubian 221 sublight pulse engines they had equipped in all N1s reduced harmful emi emissions released into the air. Number 7. The M1s had an advanced cooling system which incorporated several heat sinks, heat sinks which stopped the ship from overheating and either shutting down or exploding. Number 8. The M1s were built with a special port system which would allow them to be connected to outlets in the Theed, in the Theed hangar to recharge the ship's systems and also transport, transmit any important data, including coded files stored in the ship's mainframe computer. This would make it easier to send files to the Royal Guard or the Queen without the use of lots of technology or a splicer to hack, to hack in and retrieve the data. Number 9. The M1s were also equipped with an advanced autopilot system to retrieve navigational information from the Theed hangar out outlets, allowing it to go wherever it needed. It could also take you wherever, wherever you want with the autopilot, and in times of crisis, the autopilot would automatically take you to an emergency stop or back home for repairs. Number 10. The M1s were equipped with twin laser cannons and 10 proton torpedoes. This allowed the M1s to put up a pretty good fight against any opposing ships. Okay everyone, so that was my video you know, about the top 10 facts about the M1 that you probably didn't know. I hope you guys enjoyed th this video and learned something you didn't originally know. If you did, if you did enjoy this video, then leave a like and consider subscribing because it'll help me out a lot. I hope you got if you have any video ideas, leave them in the comments below. I hope you guys en have, have a great day. And remember, the force be with you. Always.